kind of shows you the description of the, the motor and the controller sets up front of the motor. And then, of course, in the back, we have the exposed battery pack at this time. Um, it's not integrated into the vehicle. Uh, but most importantly, to make all this work, we have software on board that gives you those choices and that application of being able to uh, choose your driving habits. Say, for example, today, you know what, I'm going to go into town. Uh, town's five miles away. I'm going to come back. So I can just pull out my phone and I can go to mode one. Mode one gives me the maximum amount of efficiency or, or cost savings on my fuel source by displacing your main fuel with electricity. Uh, so we're going to work the system a little bit harder. But by working it harder, your range is more limited than you would if you do it at a lower assist. I'm going to have the guys from my mod come up here and explain how the system integration works uh, with their software and, and some of the features of that. So I've got Troy and uh, Jamie, yeah? Or, yeah, yeah, oh, you guys are mic'd. Okay, cool. Well, we'll just sit down and do it. So they're with my mod. They're the people that uh, design and develop the uh, software uh, to uh, control the system. And it also reads the vehicle and all that good stuff. But, you know, I have a better, I'm a lot better, uh, you know, explaining the internal workings of Allison transmission than I would be software stuff. So I'm going to leave it up to these guys. So it's actually the. The, the mating of, of Goodwin Assist and my mod actually was, was, it almost was written in, uh, it was just something that was going to happen. I, when, my, when my mod was first developed, it was developed as uh, a way to display the information for electric vehicles. At the time, there was no gauge clusters or anything like that. So, uh, Troy Lentz, uh, was, that was developing an EV vehicle at the time, developed the software and put everything together to display the information necessary for a driver of an EV car to have the information he needs and, and actually display the information in a way that to him seems right. So, so the cluster was actually customizable to do that. We could read BMS, uh, which is battery monitoring stuff. Um, we, uh, we, there was also a switch panel that went in between the console, which eliminated things like uh, toggle switches and those kind of things we could find in a car that has been scratch built. And we put everyone, in, we put everything in one central location, which allowed the person to access anything from uh, radio to air ride suspension to uh, you name it, we can control it. In the last couple of years, we've actually uh, we've we've went into the high performance market, and we're offering that same flexibility there. And that's kind of where the main between uh, with with Goodwin was so important because. John's vehicle runs on both technologies. He runs with a, a fuel vehicle and an electric motor. So my mod was perfect for that because we were already able to take the information we needed from the, the fuel motor and process that data and also from the electric side and still do all the battery monitoring and, and stuff that we needed to do with that, display that information for the driver or whoever decides to have a good one assist in their vehicle will have that information available to them. So. What you actually get um, is, is a screen very similar to this, uh, which would replace your tuned-in stereo spot. Um, you're not losing anything by this, because in this, you're actually gaining... <laughs> keep, keep going. <laughs> I'll let you drive. Will you let me drive? Uh, see. Got it. There we go. Uh, what you're looking at here, for example, um, is the first screen. This is the home screen. Um, and what it's showing you right now in the direction of the arrow is the energy. So the energy from the pack is, is going to the motor, which, meaning, which means it's in assist mode right now. Um, when the, the, motor, the electric motor spins free, it would show you the regen from that motor being placed back into the battery pack. Um, and as I started to say, when this replaces your, your, your tuned-in stereo spot, it also becomes your touchscreen stereo now. You, you still have navigation, you have touchscreen stereo. We can actually offer you other things like being able to turn things off and on as well. So the flexibility is there. But the most important thing is you have all the information from the Goodwin Assist that you need to know. So this would be your home screen. The next screen that you'll see here is a, a state of charge, the condition of the battery, um, it, when it's charging, and how long to a full charge. Here it displays miles per gallon on one side and then hybrid miles left or remaining in the pack um, and fuel miles left or remaining in the vehicle. And then it, this also gives you the ability to turn the system off completely if you choose to do so or, or again put it in a hybrid mode and leave it there. So the flexibility of the system is, is really, it, 
it's very, very cool because what it allows you to do is have that extra power at the touch of your fingers. And when you don't need it, it freewheels and charges the battery pack. So unlike a supercharger where you know you just you have that draw constantly, you can actually have the 100 horsepower when you need it and then shut it off. And it actually becomes a regen system. It's amazing. Here, we, what, what uh, this screen here is showing you is uh, the BMS. Basically, what we monitor is each battery individual in the cell. We can tell you the temperature, the state of charge of that battery, and if there's any issues with the charge of a cell in that battery. So you can monitor all that, and you know if there's any maintenance issues well in advance, it can be taken care of. Um, That's kind of what we're doing for Goodman. So we're the link basically between the EV side of it and the fuel side, where we make them work together and we make it in, in such a way that it, it's, it's basically perfect. They mesh together perfectly without any issues and, and give Jonathan's customers what they need.